Hi, Book Buddies. Amy Dykeman here with The New Kid Has Fleas. It's written by me, Amy Dykeman. It's wonderfully illustrated by Etta Caban. And we made this book with our pals at Roaring Book Press, which is an imprint of Macmillan. Now, we made this book to show that you can welcome a new kid into your community, whether your community is a classroom or a neighborhood or beyond. Because at one time or another, we've all been a new kid or sometimes an old kid. The old kid who's trying to figure the new kid out and how to best welcome them. Now, when we get to read this story, guys, I need your help because there's a couple points in the story where there's a howl like a wolf. Everybody remember how howl like a wolf? Yeah? Okay, here we go. Count of three. One, two, three. Great howling, you guys. All right. When we get to those points in the story, I'll hold the little sign up. We can all howl together. Thanks. Here we go. It's The New Kid Has Fleas. Oh, got to talk about the cover, right? I mean, look at the face, you guys. I gotta know. Why is he reacting like this to the new kid? What's going on with that big wolf-shaped shadow? So many questions. And that's the neat thing about a book, guys. You see the cover, makes you have questions, and you open it and read. And here we have our opening end pages, little hints to what'll happen in the story. There's a squirrel. Huh, I wonder why. The new kid has fleas. There's a big wolf shadow again on a perfect rendition of school linoleum. If you've ever been in a school, and I bet you have, you've seen that linoleum. Okay, here we go, guys. Now remember, this is from the point of view of an old kid, someone who's already been in school. So we hear him talking and he says, I'm not sure about the new kid. And look, he's looking. Here she is. Here's, again, this rather strange shadow, right? And he's looking at her. Other kids are talking. Some whispers. I see this one girl, Molly, who's kind of doing the whisper. Hmm, so I'm not sure about the new kid. Mom and dad say, don't stare. So I should put myself in her shoes, but the new kid doesn't wear shoes and it's hard not to stare. Especially during gym. And look at her pounce on that ball, you guys. <gasps> and music. What do we have here? Everyone else is singing, but she's howling. Give me a howl, guys. One, two, three. Arroo! Great howl, you guys. And lunch. There's that squirrel again, you guys. She didn't bring a sandwich like everybody else. She's kind of helping herself. And what do we see here in the background again, guys? It's that girl again. More kids and more. Psst, 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 psst more whispers, right? Boy, it's tough to be a new kid. Molly tells everyone, oh, I knew it was Molly. Molly tells everyone the new kid has fleas. I don't know if she does or not. I don't ask. Nobody really talks to the new kid. And look, you guys, this wonderful playground scene that Ed has created, right? Everyone's happy. Everyone's playing well. Oh, <laughs> Poor Stuart, almost everyone. But the new kid is sitting all by herself. No one really talks to the new kid, but she doesn't care. Well, I don't think she does. I'll let you guys look and see what do you think. Do you think she does? Yeah, I do too. Let's see if he's going to do something about that. I wonder who will choose the new kid to be their science project buddy. Ooh, remember having science project buddies and art project buddies and all the project buddies? I already chose Stuart. And Stuart already chose me. Oh. But our teacher says today the bull will choose. Ah, uh, big groan every time, right? We hate it when the bull chooses. Stuart gets paired with <laughs> Molly. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
Stuart looks like he just ate a squirrel too. Oh, bummer, you guys. You know how it is when sometimes you don't get paired with the person who would be your number one pick to work with, right? And her narrator says, I'll be okay as long as I don't get paired with who do you think he might not want to be paired with, you guys? Do you have a clue? Molly's already taken, so we know it's on her. It's, oh no, he got the new kid. And look, you guys, she's so happy though. She's smiling. She's, she's grinning really big, but she's smiling. She's so happy. Okay, let's see what happens. You know, when you have a project buddy, sometimes you need to work on your project. Yep, after school. We have to work on our project after school. Look guys, they're on the bus. She's back to bare feet, but she's still happy. She's still so excited. At her house. Oh boy. Look at her house, guys. What do you see? Now, Anytime you go to a new friend's house and you see their house for the first time, everything's a little different, right? This might be a lot different. I wonder what Stuart will say at my funeral. <laughs> Look, guys, I think he's reacting to all these big, scary shadows. Oh, no. The new kid's parents are home. Her brother and sisters, too. <gasps> I forgot to warn you that this part was a little scary, you guys. What's going to happen? Everyone's there. Her parents, her brother and sisters. Her little brother and sisters. Oh, you guys look. Look at the little babies. Oh, they're so cute. Doesn't that look like fun? I'm not nervous. I'm not so nervous about the new kid's house anymore. Look, yay. And this is just the best, you guys. Look at the parents, the proud parents. And look, the new kid's so happy, you guys. Look, look, she's just introduced her family and everything's so cute and it's going so well. So he's not so nervous about the new kid's house anymore until snack. Oh no, guys, oh, you know, Anytime you go to somebody new's house and, and they have different foods than you, it's always polite to give it a try and, hey, it's not bad. <gasps> he did it, you guys. He tried it and he actually liked it. And the one thing I really love about this scene, guys, so okay, we, we, we know what he's eaten. And look, the littles, they're trying the sandwich too. Yay! Everybody's trying everybody else's new foods. That's kind of cool. Things are different here. And he just says, bathroom. And we've all been there, right? That's a very important thing to know when you go to a new friend's house. Is, um, excuse me, where do you keep that? So where's the bathroom? And she just points outside. Okay. And he says, I just go with the flow. <laughs> Literally, right? Oh my gosh, and look, here's, here's one of the little guys. Yeah. Anyway, so we all know what they were doing there. Now, we start on our project. Turns out the new kid knows a lot. Take a peek, guys. What do you think? What do you see here? Do you see, oh, I don't know, some phases in the moon type stuff she's pointing? I think that's their science project. I think they're going to learn about the moon. And it turns out, you guys, the new kid knows a lot. She knows a lot about the moon. She knows a lot about stuff. And she's funny. Funnier than Molly or any of us knew. And look, you guys, she's having such a good time. She, she even made the box look kind of like the narrator, right? And she put it in her head. She's chasing around. They're having such a good time. They gave each other a chance and they're having fun. And I love this page so much, you guys. I love these illustrations. And of course, this box here. I even made one! Look, you guys, this is my box that I made! Ah! Just like the book, sometimes you could do that. You could take something from a book that you really, really, really like, and you could get out your crayons or your markers or whatever it is you like to use, and you can make it too! So, I'm not an illustrator, but I have fun drawing, and this was a blast. So, I got to make this fun box. I'm gonna scare my mailman later, and that should be good for a laugh. So, okay, so there we go, guys. Anyway, back to our story. So, and she's funny. 
funnier than Molly or any of us knew. We make a good team. And that often happens, guys, when you give someone a chance, right? You find out you make a good team. And I didn't see a single flea. That whole time, not one, you guys. Awesome. I decide to tell Molly first thing in the morning. Look, he's got the project. He's going to school. He's going to tell her. But Molly's not at school. Stuart says she's home with lice. <laughs> a little bit of karma there, right, guys? Now, look, everybody gets lice at one point or another. It's just one of those, like, little rituals of childhood things. It happens. But I think it's kind of funny that she was, you know, making rumors about the fleas and, oh, well. <laughs> New Kid and I can't wait to start our project. Everyone loves it, especially us. And look, guys, they're so happy that they just got to let it out. Remember our howls? Remember our roos? One, two, three. Arrgh! Yay, success. I think the real success is that they're friends, but they also had a good time with their project. It's time to choose an art project, buddy. Stuart chooses me. Oh, I think she was kind of hoping they could work together again. Then our teacher says, we can work in groups of three. Now I'm sure about the new kid. I mean, now I'm sure about Kiki. Oh, we get to learn a name. Look, guys, they're all working together. Happy community. And again, something she knows really well, right? We all have our special interests, our special knowledge, our special skills. And it's great when we get to share that together. I love it. Yay! We had so much fun with this, guys. Gotta show the last end page too. Run, squirrel, run! <laughs> Okay, there we go, you guys. It's The New Kid Has Fleas. I hope you enjoyed reading this along with me today. Thank you for your reading help, and thank you for your arus. And we hope you will check this out in your favorite bookstore, your favorite library, and wherever it is you like to read books. Okay, until next time, guys. This old kid sing. Bye-bye.